Martinez out of that southpaw stance in red. Aldo is in blue. And you know there's a moment when you stand across from a legend where you go, oh my goodness, that's Jose Aldo. I had it with Anderson. Jonathan Martinez doesn't get that. Right. He doesn't care. Aldo with that high guard. Aldo said that he believes in his boxing, man. He doesn't think anybody can box with him in this weight class. But he's got to worry about more than that for Martinez. He's got to worry about those kicks right there. We got a nice early leg kick from Martinez, the slight betting favorite at close. When you're backing up, it's hard to un un unleash it, or at least unleash it with power. Martinez thought about a takedown a moment ago. A little slip there now, under three minutes in round one. That right hand, Aldo's best punch of the fight thus far. Problem is the speed of Aldo, it's almost discouraging to leave more oh. openings. Right on cue, DC, a fast piston of a right hand from Aldo. Martinez with a couple jabs right behind that, but yes, a great right hand by Aldo. Martinez just kind of getting lulled into the pace here that Aldo is setting. Oh, Beautiful oh. body work. And we normally That's see more front kicks from, from Martinez, more knees so far, just a few kicks. Well, he's taking pictures. Being he's gun watching. shy, yeah. Numbers nearly a dead heat through one. By round two. Dean Thomas, what do you have for us? So far, Martini, Martinez seems to have a little hero worship going on. He has mm. to minimize the respect and get after him. Now, here's the thing. He, the first thing he has to do is beat him on the initial angle. He's allowing Aldo to back him up. He's got to create an angle early, go off first, and try to go last. Nice little sequence there by Aldo. Some of those blocked by Martinez. But we didn't necessarily expect that hero worship that Dean referenced as Aldo rips the body. We thought maybe it could be a factor. Martinez seems to be at least willing now to go more forward. Aldo now greets Martinez with a right hand. Martinez has landed 15 of 54 significant strikes. Nice left hand by Martinez, oh, and now a big shot from Aldo. Oh! That was a nice right hand there by Aldo. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Aldo's starting to load up on him now. He's feeling himself. Yes, he is. Shaking in Rio, nice jab from Aldo. Yeah, that was a good counter shot for Martinez. Aldo back to the oh, body. Good Martinez elbow, lands. Maybe. But Aldo answers right back. Big shot, though, by Martinez late in the round. Holly pointed words there from Mark Montoya to his pupil, Jonathan Martinez. Yeah, and that's how it's got to be. He's being a little bit too gun shy. And Mark's right, at the end of that round, he definitely got the attention. I don't know how badly Aldo was hurt, but he was moving backwards. He definitely felt some of the power there from Martinez. But he's right, if he continues to just stand mm -hmm. at this range and let Aldo continue to do what he's doing, he's looking too damn sharp. He's got to try to interfere. Martinez has to beat him with his pace. He's got to try to fatigue him. Because at the end of that round, he had Aldo going backwards. And that seemed to be where he was finding some success. Oh, man, oh. nice. There it is. Oh. Oh. Aldo has this crowd eating out of his hands right now, reacted to his every strike. Beautiful jab by the former champ there. But on the bicycle, going backwards, fatigues you. Or at least in what his coaches want. I'm looking across right there. I see a... Uh, Ooh. Oh, he rocked oh, Martinez now out onto the body. Oh, a knee from Aldo now. Oh, oh my goodness. He's hurt bad. Oh. Aldo tosses Martinez on his back. Under two minutes to the side. Man, that is crazy. unbelievable for Aldo to come back out of retirement after entering the Hall of Fame and look the way he looks against a prospect like Martinez right now. The knee. It was something in close to that. Okay. 
because he had it hurt bad. Yeah, with the left hook. Left yep, left hook. Right on the temple. We just saw it. On our isolation monitor. Down the stretch we go. So Jose Aldo Jr., about 10 months after his UFC Hall of Fame induction, comes out of retirement, wanted this Brazilian backdrop, this opportunity in Rio, and he fought a man who was on an absolute tear in Jonathan Martinez. Six straight wins, so much offense, and so much success from Martinez on this winning streak. But Jose Aldo still proven to have plenty left in the tank. Unbelievable, man. What a performance. And he had the right guy out there, right? He had the right guy out there, tough, very well-rounded, skilled, and he got the job done. Tremendous performance by Aldo. Oh, my God. Just, I mean, didn't look like he missed a day. A lot of people had a lot of opinions as to this return for Jose Aldo. But once this one is official, he will have won four of his last five. And what might be next for the All King right. of Rio? Let's take a look here at some of the work from Jose Aldo to the body. Classic Aldo. Showed off some of his kicks, but really it was the sharpness of his hands, his boxing, his counter ability in the face of Martinez the whole time. Stood toe to toe with him. Backed up, got out of there when he needed to. Look at that right hook. Look how short that hook is. And just more work here. Bang, that's the left hook that would set Martinez all stanky leg there for a second. Never really recovered from that. It was ultimately Aldo who decided to flip the script, take him down. Almost, I, oh, I don't want to say this because I don't want to be insulting M Martinez, but almost a mercy takedown where it looked like if he wanted to keep punching, he could have. Yeah. But he knew that fight was his. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Jose Aldo! <laughs>